friends welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today I just wanted to do a very short and very quick tutorial to show you how to use stencils and paint so that it comes out looking nice and neat and it doesn't end up blotchy and the paint doesn't seep through so for this example I just picked this uh, Christmassy stencil so this is um, just a normal plastic stencil and I have this paper pad and I'm just gonna apply paint through this stencil so what I have here is just a chalk paint off white cream colored white paint I have these three brushes here so um, this is what these natural bristle brushes normally look like and I've chopped one of them uh, so that it's kind of short and stocky and that's what makes the application easier when you use stencils before I bought these I used to use this acrylic brush so as you can see it's also quite short and stocky so the main thing is that you want to um, kind of dab the paint through it so you need to be able to do this kind of motion and the brush not like bending um, in all directions like a brush like this bend in all directions so you won't get a very good result so I'm gonna use this brush here so I'm just gonna dip my brush into the paint dab the excess off this is very important you always want to dab the excess off as much as you can you don't want there to be a lot of paint because if you use too much paint then it's gonna seep through your stencil and go underneath it that's when you're gonna end up with a not a with not a very neat result. There is something that will definitely help with this. So you can get these uh, non-permanent adhesive sprays that are made specifically for stencils that are then removable. So they make your stencil, you spray it, wait a little bit and it makes your stencil just tacky enough so that it sticks to whatever the surface is. So it makes the application process easier and then you can just take it off and that's it. Right, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of paint dab as much of the excess off onto my plate here and then I sit my stencil down so once you've started applying paint it's important that you don't move it uh, because again as soon as you move it it's going to start spreading the paint around and then I tap the brush on through the stencil it is best to do two coats if you need to then to apply a very thick coat of paint and then it ends up blotchy so if your paint isn't very opaque then it's best to just apply whatever it is however it is on the first layer also wash your stencil after it when it's dry line up your stencil as best as you can and then go over it again and so you just do it in this kind of dabbing motion trying to get into all of the creases and crevices and into all of the little bits and corners without actually like jamming the brush inside so that the paint doesn't seep underneath. Right then, so the moment of truth, let's see how it looks. Oh, there we go. So it's not looking too shabby at all. I would need to go over it once more. Um, so I'd need to go over it another time. So as you can see, there are still a couple of places where the paint has seeped through a little bit but it is only really noticeable if you get like really, really close to it. And of course, uh, since I'm only holding the stencil down with my hand, it is inevitable, you know, I'm only human. I tend to get shaky hands as well, so it's bound to happen. So if you really want to get a very, very neat result, then your best option would be to get one of them stencil adhesive sprays so that they stick the stencil down and then there's going to be no way for the paint to actually get in underneath so that is it i hope that this was helpful as always any questions anything like that leave those in the comments down below for me subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me and i will see you guys in the next video bye